Have you ever secretly felt trapped by your business? Like you created your own hamster wheel that might never free you like you intended it would. This is a problem that can exist in all four stages of business. I'm ready to put in the work, but I often feel overwhelmed not knowing what to spend my time on and how to get the most out of it. I am so determined to keep growing my business. I just wonder how long I need to be the person that drives it, puts out fires, and all of those things. Let me help you. You don't have to own all the moving parts all the time. <sighs> I really feel discouraged. When I got to this point, I thought I'd have more freedom by now, but I still feel entrenched in my business. Well, it's hard for the team to run things without you when you still hold all the keys. The business is set up so that it can't run without you. That's the issue. And we also need to start to structure it so that it can run without you. I genuinely feel trapped by the fact that the business would crumble without me. I need a change so that it can run the same if I'm not here. We have lots of opportunities to reduce your time spent in the business, but we will need you to really commit to that. We are ready and capable of helping you. We just need to make a plan and stick to it. So why are CEOs often disappointed by hires? Well, number one, they have not given the team full ownership of the results and the outcomes that they want. They don't have buy-in from themselves and their team to remove them from non-essential responsibilities, and they don't know when to rein themselves in and let their own team do the projects and initiatives. And I just wanna let you know, that issue is the visionizers and the strategizers and the mobilizers to figure out together and come up with a plan to fix those three reasons why fires take over all their time, energy, and probably make them lose a lot of money too. Here are some of the tools that you wanna use when you're thinking about how to help the team stay focused and not make the fires take over them. First is a team accountability map, an actual mind map of that team accountability, some management and communication systems that will help you organize these thoughts and create solutions, and ultimately a one-page strategic plan that everyone is working from so that you stay on course. Some of the other things you might wanna consider are annual anchors, which means knowing exactly those times where you're going to be creating campaigns or marketing what you're doing. A launch calculator, which tells you what the goals are and lets everybody get on the same page. And obviously, actual offer and revenue goals and knowing how to implement what we call on our campus, the unique message model. If you found value in this content, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button below so we can get this video in front of more entrepreneurs who want help growing their business. And be sure to also hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified when new content is released. I'm Jen Kim, here to help you get seen, heard, and paid for the unique value you bring into the world. Until next time.